every second, every minute, every day of every year of your life. You're with you. How do you not have the time for you? You see how it is? We put time into everything else outside of ourselves because we're not taught to, we're not taught to uh, sit and encourage ourselves and sit down and, and love who we are. You know what I mean? And actually explore who the fuck we are and get to know who the fuck we are. But yet, we spend time with so many motherfuckers who are, who are able to dictate, hey, yo, you like this, you do this, you do that, you like this. And then it's like, some of this shit we don't even fuck with. But, you know, to be cordial, to be nice and shit, we'll say, you're right, you're right. You know, with that comes in, in the thought process. Now, granted, I'm all for give, giving and receiving, and I'm all for being grateful for what you get. But at the same time, we got to stop using that. It's the thought that counts shit. To justify the fact that we got somebody something that they acknowledge that they don't like. That's some selfish shit to say, oh, it's the thought that count. Well, think harder next time, next time motherfucker. Like, know who I am. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. That should be an objective, an object, uh, an objective response to some shit. But it's not. It's taken personal. You know? Well, you can at least say thank you. For what? Why should I? Why do you need thanks for that? You, if you want to put it, you know what I'm saying, on a grander scale, if you got me something that I didn't like, why do I have to tell you thank you? Oh, because it's the thought that counts. What thought? If that, if it means that within the thought, your thought now needs to be reevaluated. Your thought from that perspective needs to be reevaluated. If you got me something that I didn't like and you assumed that I liked it. You feel what I'm saying? But again, when that still centers back into us knowing ourselves, because if a motherfucker gets you something that you don't like, what have you presented to them? What have you shown them? You shown them that this is an essence of who you are. You feel what I'm saying? You shown them that, yeah, yeah, this is me. Who I'm showing you is who I am. And then you tell them, nah, I don't really like that. What? What do you mean you don't like it? I seen you do X, Y, and Z, and you just, okay. That don't mean I wanted the shit. <laughs> like, you feel what I'm saying? Just because you look and see some shoes that are cute and then a the motherfucker buy you the shoes and you didn't really want the shoes. Oh, you gonna wear them. For what? Like, oh, I'm gonna wear them just to be nice. You don't have to do that shit, yo. You don't have to do that shit. Because, not in, again, not in an ungrateful way. I don't, I don't want to come off like, you know, I'm being ungrateful or anything like that, but you gotta see things objectively sometimes. This is how you segue into not knowing yourself and now and then just becoming a mask, becoming a shell. You know what I mean? Because we're trying so hard to be, you know, comforting and soothing and all this other bullshit. You know what I mean? That we can't tell a motherfucker the truth. It's so easy to lie. That's why it's like when you, you gotta think about the negative connotations within the words, like lies are associated with good words. Truths are associated with bad words. It's fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got devastating truths, blunt truths, cold truths, tough love. Like, like the, the truth is, is so hard. Like, what? No, that's the harsh truth. But you get soothing lies, sweet lies. You know what I mean? Lies have a, 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 a pleasing attachment to them. Why do you think we tell them? And then why do you think we refrain from telling the truth so much? Because the shit hurts. But why does it hurt so much? Because it's not practiced on a regular basis. If motherfuckers was able to take the truth more, people would be able to give it. But they can't. People are able to take lies a lot more than they're able to take truth. So, the fuck you think it's input, output, supply and demand. You feel what I'm saying? It's supply and demand, you know? But in the grand scheme of things, what does that do for us? That puts us in a state of misery. Like, we literally stay in a quandary of, of, of miserable lives and miserable behavior because we don't want to step on anybody's toes. But then again, it's like, I don't, this isn't me.